Good evening, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody had them a good uh, Wednesday today. That's it's Wednesday evening, and uh, I had me a good day. And getting in here now, getting ready to fix us some supper tonight. And uh, this, y'all, is one of my favoriteest meals to fix. It, we love it. It's great. Me and Buzz eat it by ourselves because, but we will definitely have leftovers. Or it's a great meal to have when uh, you have, say, another couple over. It's a great meal for that. And uh, not only that, it's a great meal for your family deal where you're sitting around the table. And I'll tell you why when we get into all of it and stuff. But uh, there are lots of names for this thing. But I call this thing a uh, spicy shrimp bake. Okay? Uh, a lot of people call it barbecue shrimp. There's... I, I don't know. There's all kind of names for it, but it's where you bake it in the oven. In the big pan with lots of sauce and stuff on it, okay? And uh, I love doing it because on the nights when I'm tired and everything, another one of the reasons is that I love it is because if I'm tired, this is one of the easiest meals to fix ever, but it is a great company meal. It's a great family meal. Um, it's, just, it's just delicious, y'all. Spicy shrimp bake. Okay, and um, I went ahead and I got everything measured out. First thing I'm going to show you. Now, don't be freaking out over the amount of butter that I'm fixing to show you that goes in this pot because, y'all, this is a big old pan of shrimp that goes in here. And we need lots of butter because we're going to use our bread. I got a big loaf of French bread. You need a good, you want a crusty bread, a real crusty bread for dipping in this sauce because the sauce is as important as the shrimp okay so i'm gonna put this back over here i'm gonna put that bread in the oven in a little bit in that foil uh but i have already melting over here so i could get it going and stuff but i wanted y'all to see that i have in here um well let me show you look at the butter sticks i have six sticks of butter melting in this pot okay Six sticks. All right. I'm getting those melting. And the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and melt that down, and then I'll bring it over here so you can see me pouring it in there and stuff and everything. But what you're going to do is you need three to five pounds of unpeeled fresh shrimp, okay? And you want the uh, large ones, at least the large ones, some of them, sometimes it says the jumbo ones, y'all, but to me, they're just too big. If you get the big jumbo ones and you're trying to peel them and eat them because you just peel these and eat them with this meal. To me, the large ones are perfect, okay? You'll have to make it to find out what you really like about that, but I say start out with the large, okay? And then you can take it from there up or down on the sizes if you want to do different sizes. Three to five pounds, depending, you know, on how many people you think you're going to be feeding. It just so happens that these are fresh from the Gulf that me and uh, Lynn picked up when we went down there this summer. And I usually get like a 10-pound bag of them, and I'll just split it up three three ways. So that's how many shrimp I have in each gallon Ziploc baggie. And that works perfect for this meal especially. So here we go. We have our three to five pounds of shrimp, okay? We have six sticks of butter over here melting. I'm going to go ahead and take it off this fire, y'all, because I want you to see that I'm fixing to add all this stuff in here in this pot with the butter. And this is for our sauce that we want for dipping our bread in and stuff, okay? And covering our shrimp and all. It's going to bake on top of this, with the shrimp, and you just dip your bread in it, and it is delicious. It, like I say, it is important as the shrimp. So for our sauce, we have six sticks of butter in this pot, okay? And we're fixing to take half a cup, one half cup of Worcestershire sauce, okay? You just pour it in there with your butter. The next thing we're gonna do is I have half a cup of lemon juice. Now, you're gonna have to have um, six to eight fresh lemons to slice really, really thin for your layers 
in this dish, okay? And see how thin I've got them? So you're gonna need three more lemons to juice, to make your half a cup of juice. If you don't have that, you can use bottled lemon juice. You can, okay? But the fresh uh, squeezed sure is good. And it don't matter, you don't have to try to take the seeds out of it or none of that or nothing because you're putting these fresh slices in there and so there's gonna be seeds in there and stuff, but you don't, you're don't. you not gonna get into them. You're just dipping your bread in the sauce, and so the seeds are not a problem, is all I'm saying to you. Half a cup of lemon juice. Okay. Next we have four, and this is important, y'all. This is very important. Like I said, it's a, it's a spicy shrimp bake. Four tablespoons of ground black pepper, okay? Four tablespoons is gonna go in there. And that seems like a lot of pepper, or black pepper and stuff, but it is so delicious in there, y'all. It's so delicious. The next thing, it, and this is a must. This is considered a must. I learned this recipe, y'all, from my daughter-in-law. Her family uh, makes this recipe, and she showed it to me, and I've been making it ever since. I mean, from the first time uh, she made it for me. I've been making it ever since. It's that delicious. Okay? So you're going to have to have this hot sauce to go in there. And it's 10 tablespoons of this hot sauce. Now listen, if it if that seems like too much to you, if you're afraid of it, back off on it if you want to. I, I you know, cut it in half if you want to. Okay? Do five tablespoons. But the whole thing that they swear by, and I just do it because that's what they said, and I won't get nothing else, but it's the Texas Pete's. Texas Pete hot sauce is the one that I have in this in this bowl. And I have, like I said, um, 10 tablespoons. Y'all know Buzz and I like really spicy stuff, so we're not afraid of the 10 tablespoons. And to me, this Texas Pete's isn't, it's not majorly hot like a, like Tabasco sauce and stuff is, you know, it's not, it's not that hot as those. Let me wash that off. My... It's not. Um. Again, that'll be something you may have to play by ear, I guess. But, you know, it's spicy shrimp, y'all. So, there we are, right? Okay. The next thing we need is eight cloves of minced garlic it calls for eight eight cloves of, of garlic minced up right i just use the minced garlic in my refrigerator and because i love doing that and it works for me y'all and i consider i've got to where i just consider a a, a a teaspoon a clove a good minced clove of it that's probably a little more than a, a real clove but you know hey it's garlic, man. It's delicious. And this sauce, to me, everything in it, more is better, y'all. So there we go. We've got uh, eight cloves of garlic minced up in there, okay? Four teaspoons of regular table salt, okay? Now, that's what's going to go in this sauce. Now, because I've been jabbering so much, and see, and I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to put it back over here on the stove and just let it warm up. I just want it to warm up good, okay? And this is what it looks like, y'all. Let me see if I can hold that. I don't know. See, look at it. See, it's brownish. Woo, Lord, that's hot. Okay. Anyway, it's got everything in there that we just said, and that's all the melted butter and the sauces and stuff I got going on. I'm just going to let it sit here. And get warm while I tell you one more time real quick the quantities of what we're putting in here in the sauce for your sauce you need six sticks of butter if you don't want to you can put if you don't want to do that you can do four okay but I'm gonna give you the original recipe and you back off of it a little bit if you want to okay six sticks of butter half a cup of Worcestershire sauce half a cup of lemon juice, four tablespoons of ground black pepper, 10 tablespoons 
of Texas Pete's hot sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, eight cloves of minced garlic and four teaspoons of table salt, regular table salt. We're going to take that and warm it up in this pot, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. I just want to warm it because it tends to make the everything kind of uh, mixed together good, right? Everything gets incorporated good in the flavors. And what it is, is this, uh, why it sounds like so much is the original recipe on, on the sauce for this is half of what I do, what I just told y'all. You can half this, but you're not going to get the amount of sauce that you want. You're going to run out of sauce when you're dipping it with that bread because this sauce is so good and you're going to love it so much, you're going to want more sauce than that. And that's why I double this recipe. So it sounds gargantuan, you know, like six sticks of butter, oh my word, you know. Uh, because, like, the original recipe, I think, is, like, four sticks of butter, you know. Uh, and even I don't need eight sticks in there. But six sticks of butter works good when you're doubling this recipe, you know. So, that's where we're at on... That's that simple on the sauce, right? Now the sauce is warming really good. While that's warming, I'm going to take my pan here, and I've got a big, you need a, a nice size pan so that you can, uh, you know, excuse me, let me get a drink. Oh my goodness, that's my root beer. I love root beer. Okay. All right, you do need a, a good, deep, See, you need one with a good that's deep because you're going to put all this shrimp and lemon and sauce in there. So you need plenty of room in it. And like, a, this thing is a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13. So, you know, you may have to split it up if you don't have a bigger pan than this. Anyway, you need you a good big pan, okay? You figure that out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this shrimp and we're just going to half it, right? We're going to half this pile of shrimp and, and, and it's not a science it doesn't have to be exact at all so you take your shrimp and you just layer them out in here like this all right next we're going to take these lemons and i have six lemons here that i've sliced really really thin y'all the thinner the better it just makes them go all through the sauce when you slice them thin like that right you just take them and just layer them in here with your shrimp on the bottom there half your shrimp half your lemons so you've got six lemons sliced up really thin oh the lemon y'all that lemon and garlic in there and then with that zinga pepper and stuff and all the rest of it is just so good all right you see how i've got them done right okay next we just come over here that sauce is plenty hot now I'm just going to take this sauce, stir it around a little bit, and I'm going to take half of this sauce and pour it over this shrimp and lemon. Okay? Now, set that down right there. Next, I'm just going to take the second half of my shrimp. Y'all, this is so easy. Oh my goodness, it's so easy on you. I tell you what, if you got company coming, you make a salad on the side with this. You can't hardly eat nothing else though. We end up not eating anything else because we're pigging out on the shrimp and the sauce and bread. But if you wanted to with company, you could, you know, make a salad on the side. But I tell you what, it's unnecessary when you got a big old pan of this because everybody's going to want to just chow down on this. I even put my lemon ends in there, y'all. I mean, that does, you know, just the more lemon in there, the better. Because you're not eating on all that or what. I do pick them up, some of them, and get me some bites of them in there because it's delicious, too. I ain't going to lie. Okay, there's our shrimp and our lemon. And now we're going to take the second half of this sauce, stir it around a little bit, try to get everything 
We're just going to pour it over, y'all. All that pepper and so Oh, my goodness. I would just wish y'all could smell this sauce. It is so very delicious. Okay. Seriously, y'all. This is it. Here, I grab it by the handles here and maybe I can clear it up. Look. Can y'all see the sauce on there? Look at that. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. Now, I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees. I'm going to set it in there on the middle rack, just like that. No, don't cover it, nothing, right? Let it sit in there. We're going to cook it for 30 minutes, all right? So the first, let it cook for 15 minutes, and then just get you a big old spoon and reach in there and just kind of stir it around a little bit to give it, to distribute your shrimp and stuff around a little bit more in there. So the ones on the top had, you know, one's cooked more than the other one or this and that. Anyway, just give them a toss. Just a little toss. Stir them around halfway through your 30 minutes, okay? And then just shut the door and let them cook for that other 15 minutes, and they are ready. And I'll show you after I get them out of the oven what we do from there, okay? Spicy shrimp bake, y'all. It's delicious. The other thing, the other thing I want to show you real quick is I literally just, this, I just bought this at HEB. It's just the big old, this one's a French bread, I think it is. But anyway, it's important, like I say, to do the crusty bread because you need one that can hold together when you're dipping it in the sauce. I'm just going to take that loaf of bread and wrap it up in foil just like this and throw it in the oven uh, for the last 15 minutes. When I stir my shrimp, I'm just going to throw this take this loaf of uh, bread and just put it in the on the bottom rack in there or whatever, in the other rack, in the oven, on the last 15 minutes that the shrimp are cooking. And that'll be ready when we get ready to do the shrimp deal. Okay, guys, it's been our 30 minutes. I'm fixing to get our shrimp, pan of shrimp out of the oven and uh, our loaf of bread, and I'm gonna show you how we put this thing together. It's got 17 seconds left on it. That's close enough, right? Get my other little hot pad over here. Okay, we are done, y'all. And this stuff is some kind of delicious. I'm gonna leave that bread sitting in there while I'm showing y'all this. Let me get it up close. Well, first thing I want you to see, I like to take it when I first uh, get it out of there and stir it up and let everything, let the different shrimps and stuff soak up. The ones off the top, get down there and get some juice on them and stuff. Because like I say, that that lemon garlic sauce is so delicious. All that lemon in there. That, it's just so easy, y'all, and it's just, one, it's one of our favorite dishes. It really is. Like I say, when you get a chance, you know, pick you up some shrimp and have them. You don't have to do nothing with them if you, uh, you know, if you've got them headed. That's all they gotta be is headed because you're not, you, they're unpeeled. That's part of the eating of this thing is peeling your shrimp and eating them. There we go now. I've got it stirred around good like that. And all I'm gonna do is take it and get some of these shrimp up on this plate here. shrimp and lemon there going on and then get some of this sauce because you want this sauce for dipping with your shrimp and your bread okay so we'll set that to the side like that let me get our bread out we'll back it up like that a little bit okay Get 
and just open that booger up. out of the way. Get my bread knife. You just get you some slices of bread. Cut them in half there where they where you can handle them better. And you just put them on your plate like this. And y'all, this is the plate that you end up with. Look at that. Got some red sauce here to dip the shrimp in as well. There's your crusty bread for dipping in your delicious sauce. And this, guys, is the spicy shrimp bake. That if you're a shrimp lover and you like lots of spice and stuff, it's not hot. It's not spicy hot. It's just spicy with flavor. Really, it is. Y'all need to try this. It's so easy. And um, it's delicious. There's just no other way to put it. The spicy shrimp bake, y'all. Lemon, garlic, pepper, pepper sauces, everything going on there. Y'all need to give it a try. And uh, know that it feeds a good number of people here. You'll be surprised how many people it'll feed. And all that delicious sauce in there is what's so good. What we do as a family, though, what's fun to do as a family, I'm showing y'all that on a plate, how to do it like that, right? But what we do as a family is we just take this pan and set it in the middle of the table, okay? And I take this loaf of bread, and we just rip it, girl, off of there. We just rip it. We could uh, we could slice it, but it's not un unnecessary for us. But we just get us a plate. We all get us a plate. Put this big pan of shrimp and sauce in the middle of the table. Get us some napkins. And we just uh, dip shrimp out of there, put on our plate, get us a hunk of bread, and everybody just dips in the, in the pan of sauce. Don't do no double dipping. We don't want any double dipping in there, right? But you just dip your bread in that sauce as a family and stuff right in the middle of the table. And a big old glass of sweet tea. And I tell you what, it's a great family meal doing that. Everybody's just, just chowing down on shrimp, peeling shrimp and eating it and dipping bread in the sauce and, you know, spending family time together around the table. It's a great meal, guys. Y'all give it a try, okay? It's spicy shrimp bake. I'll see y'all next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.